What's up and welcome to the Way Out Gamer. In this video, we're going to be talking about AMD's Radeon Frontier Vega. And it seems like, I don't know if it was over the weekend or whatever, but they gave PC World a first look at, first, first hand look at the Radeon Frontier Edition cards or whatever. And it says right here I'm I'll, I'm going to be looking off at the screen because I can remember some of the stuff but not all the stuff so um first off they said that they I guess they bring it to the PC World offices so they they switched out the AK Dell monitor and they switched them with uh two Acer 34 inch 3440 by 1440 panels and they was going up against the Titan XP. I guess the newest um, Titan XP, the real Titan XP or whatever. They were going up against that for with the uh, Radeon Vega Frontier Edition card. And they did basically a, a lot of benchmarks. So and during during these benchmarks, they said they they did play some games too they played doom um using vulcan uh prey you i'm um, using direct x 11 sniper elite 4 using direct x 12 and they said they all played pretty good now it was on a free sync panel but they had the free sync turned off um on the amd gpu so i guess that was still a non-factor now they said they they are not a, basically are not allowing them to come out with any information on the video games, um really. So only thing they can basically specify is the performance on the benchmarks that they were doing. So they said in 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 most of the benchmarks, um the the Vega Car Frontier Edition came out on top, um. Set, as for synthetic benchmarks, we are looking at 15 to 50 percent higher performance than the Titan XP. That's what that's what they were seeing in these benchmarks that was ran, ran in their office with, you know, um, people from AMD around. So <clears throat> it was in their offices. In the given time we had to run tests, we saw Frontier Edition outscore Titan XP by 20%, 20 28%, Kata and Creo, and 50% 50, 50 in SolidWorks. <clears throat> we also ran Maxon's Cinebench, a popular OpenGL benchmark, which in which the Frontier Edition was about 14% faster. The numbers echo what we already knew about the Frontier Edition, but this time we could see the performance demonstrations live. And then they come up with some, with some more um, information that you might not know. They said Vega can run on a six pin connector, but it wasn't specified if it was if it was talking about the Frontier or the RX Vega. And I looked at Vega earlier and it had um eight pin. Was it two eight pins? So I don't know if you can I don't know. I'm uh, even just one it would still be an eight pin, so I'm guessing they might be talking about the RX Vega. So that's one thing that you might not know but the frontier edition will support gaming but to take full benefit of gaming optimizations the um, rx vega is still recommended which the um raja said in the in the post that he did frontier will will run multi gpu configurations but it was not it was not designed for multi GPU gaming. Basically what they're saying is it was designed for multi GPU you no know, like rendering and stuff like that. But it wasn't 
design for multi GPU gaming. The air cooled and liquid um, cooled um, gold edition Frontier has the same PCB, although the liquid edition is, has a higher TDP and better operating temperatures. Dip switch on the back will allow you to change the color of the GPU TAC LEDs on the back. AMD reps did not want to reveal what the color of the RX Vegas will be, so they didn't want to talk about it. Um, RX Vega will be launched on July 30th at Sigriff. Like I said before in the other vlog, now I will have the pictures of the tests in this video. They took about two pictures of the test. They had the center bench test and they had um, another tech um, spec test. Then they had a few um, pictures of the cards together, and you'll see where I was talking about the the eight pin. I mean, you know the two eight pins in, the, in this card so it's not actually a six pin even on here on um, this uh, Frontier Edition card this is two eights but that's been it for this video please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time I'm out